Hello people out there, how you doing? My name is Dami Lario Online. Of course, this is Night.com Facebook Live. Today, it's the market survey. Sorry. And then, of course, uh, we're in the market. This is Yano Paja Market in Lagos State, southwestern part of Nigeria. Today, we decided to come check on um, the prices of goods in the market as we do regularly. We all know that the fluctuation of the dollar against the Naira has affected a whole lot of things in Nigeria. So we decided to come here to ask market sellers, market men and women, how they have fared so far. Have they really been affected or do we just hear about these things on the pages of or read about these things on the pages of the newspapers or just watch them on TV without necessarily knowing what the true state of things is. So we decided to come to this market to find out what's happening here. Uh, we're going to start with this market, uh, this woman here who says stockfish, um, crayfish, she has palm kernel, she has fish, she has groundnut oil, palm oil, and a whole lot of things that many people might like to buy on a regular basis. So don't go anywhere, just stay tuned and we'll be speaking with the woman who is quite busy at the moment. So guys, just give us a few seconds and I'll be right back. How market so far? Thank God, the market is going on. How has today been so far since morning to this period? Well, it's just going on little by little. There is no much sales. Because there is no money and the market is not moving as before. So, um, the people who used to patronize you, I'm sure you have customers who used to come before. Do they still come like before or as the number reduced? No, they don't come like before. And even those that come, they don't buy like they have been buying before. The... The money they buy is lesser, not much. Okay, that man talked about oporoko, and uh, what is this called now? Stock, stockfish. Is it oporoko as well? Okay, talked about the price of this oporoko being 350 before. Last week it came, he said it was 450, now it's 500. What do you think is responsible for this? That is what we buy from the market. The people that are selling to us, they say it's very expensive. And they banned the stockfish not to come inside any longer so the little they can bring is very very expensive i know it's always expensive but how much is this particular one now before we are buying it 150 but now it's 250. that, that you are buying it how much do you now say if i should tell them 300 they don't buy but most times because so that i will not just go empty-handed i would like to sell it 250. Maybe if that person is buying another thing, I'll use another money to cover it up and sell this one two fifty. Something so you buy two fifty. Yes, so that it won't get spoiled. No, all these are market; they are perishable goods. After two or three days, it will be having muko on it. So you have a very large. Um, I mean, this stock is quite big. How do you cope with buying this long, um, this much, and then selling as well? How do you cope? Yeah, it's my capital. I invest on my capital because before it was more than this, but due to the recession now, that is why it's not more. Yes, yes. But to now is 550. This one. Yes, 550. Yes. How much are you selling it before? Before, like last year, we were selling it 250, 300. This one was 250. Yes. Last 250 like last year, but now it is 500. 500 or 550? 550. 550. That's the last price. You can't even say because the person bought another thing. It's only 500. How about the smaller ones? Like this one, we are selling it 100 naira before, but now it's 150, 170. Okay. This one is yes, yes. This is Larry. Yes. Hey, Larry. How about this big ever? But to this big one. That one is 1,100. It's two of these that is inside there. The other things you sell here, like crayfish, and what is perimunku in that water now? Is that perimunku? Yes. How do you sell it? We sell it 300. As at last year, we were selling it 150, 200. But since December, it's now falling to 300, and that is how we have been selling it because we buy from the market 250. So we have to sell it 300. Um, what is this now? A bit leaf. Is this bit leaf? Yes. How do you sell it? Because I guess it is not um, something that is difficult to get. They don't import that one too. And they don't import it, but we don't know what is happening. All the leaves, they are very scarce. We didn't see it commonly in the market. You can't even get the leaves, bitter leaves. You can't see it 
Because before we are selling this bitter leaf, 20 naira. But now you can't even get one of 30 naira. It's 50 naira upward. Because if we should buy the bunch we are buying before 100 naira, now we are buying it 300, 400. So now we are buying it 400 naira. If we should buy it 400, we can't sell it 20 naira any longer. We are selling it 50 naira, 100 naira. Okay, so this man here came to buy something from our dear customer here in the market. And he wants to tell us his experience so far. So what's the experience so far? Have prices of things changed or have they gone up or reduced? Mm -hmm. Very, very expensive. Very expensive? Yeah, very, very expensive. Which of these things is expensive? Like, uh, as you can see, she sells uh, so uh, many things here. Yeah? Like um, a goosey, a bomo, and a uh, stockfish, you know. And then with uh, some other things like banga. But actually, I, I came to buy a uh, stockfish, then a goosey, fish, and some other things. So those things are, are fucking expensive, you know. Uh, things in, uh, in Nigeria is changing, you know, and it's affecting so many of us. To be very honest, it's affecting so many of us. So, but before coming to the market, did you think that things would be this expensive when you were leaving the house to come and get some of this stuff? Yeah, I know that. I know that because uh, today is my is not my first time of coming to this market. This is an Akwaja market. So, like last week, I was here last week buying things. What I came to buy last week, last week is the same thing of which I came to buy today, and. What I get, the price of things I bought last week was uh, the one of this week is more expensive than last week. Just last week? Yeah. Can you give us a specific price? Oh, uh, you see, oh, uh, like this stockfish, the, uh, this particular one was uh, this, one. this very one. Yes. Yeah, this, uh, this very one was uh, 350 yeah. before. Uh, like last week, it was. Uh, 450 but it's now 500 now. Wow, within one week. Yeah, just 50 now added to the uh, selfish. So there's so a possibility that next week it might even be more expensive than now. It, yes, of course. So we are just pleading on uh, our government to help us out. There are so many people that cannot even afford to buy this. Don't you understand? But we thank God for everything, Shah. That is the least I can say. All right, madam, our market. Fine. How market since morning? Fine, sir. How you go compare the markets where we get now with what you did say before? Mm, now, let me tell you nothing but the fact is that market is not moving like before because uh, things of goods now is very very expensive. Some people what we are buying, what they are buying now, now is not what they are buying before. One item, some top like. 500 on top, 1,000 on top. It's very, very bad. So customers are re always complaining. You can see how many hours you are here. Nobody has even asked me how much because the goods of price is increasing every day by day. Every day by day. How do you cope? Seeing that you have a very big shop here and you have a lot of things that you sell, how do you cope with your own expenses personally? Uh, what can one do without, in short, this time around, we eat our capital now because there is no profit again. Before we gain, what we gain 200 naira in each market, we hardly gain 50 naira now because of the increase of the price every day by day. You buy this thing 1,000 naira today, you go to market next, next day, you will buy it 2,000 naira or 1,500. Or maybe they will call you on phone that this thing has increased though. Know how you sell your own. We don't have any we don't get any profit on the market again. We are only losing, but just by the grace of God, we are surviving. How much are you selling this small this small um tin tomato? How much are you selling before? Because this goes for 30 naira before per one. 30 naira, 25 naira, 250 naira. But now one goes for 70 naira. This small thing goes for 25 naira to 50 naira before. But now it's 70 naira per one. Per one. 70 naira for this small one. Yes. Can see the, the. Wow. 70 naira for this small stuff. Yes, this change is really, 
is is really doing wonderful to us. So. This this cube, we count it twelve hundred naira before. That is ten ten naira, and then we are we are selling the packets like three fifty, but now we count it eight eight hundred naira and the hundred naira for fifteen naira, and the pack now goes for five fifty. Can you three fifty to five? Yeah. Ah. Oil, oil is the worst out of it. Out of it all. Oil is the worst. This one. It goes for 600 naira, 700 naira before. Now it's 1,600. 600 naira before. Now 1,600. So that means you have like 1,000 naira increment on this? On one, on one item. 1,600 naira for this? One carton. That is one in, one thousand increment for one pieces from the company. So it doesn't make sense. How about this? Um, do people still buy this one? They buy from sixteen naira to two hundred naira. So everything is increasing every day by day. Every. Day. What do you think is responsible for this increment? I think government should look into the uh, to into our economy. It's getting out of hand. Nigerians are finding it difficult to feed right now. As I'm speaking with you, some people will come into this market, they will start crying. Some people will come and beg and start begging. I have experienced two or three occasions. Two people, two students, they came here, they were begging me, I should give them tomato, give them maggi, that they don't have something to eat, which is very, very bad. And people that are buying this type of oil, you know this is sealed oil, it's better than those of Kotonu own but now they can they can't, they can't afford it, it again they it's better to buy that cotonou own and that cotonou own you can see imagine a bottle now is 700 naira why red oil now red oil before it was 700 but just our uh, last week it it dropped to 500 naira so it's too much it's too much all right so madam our market alpha fine thank you your face the fresh huh? your face the fresh my god my god Food way the shop. Yeah? Maybe food way the shop. How the food though? The market way the same. Ah, no market. Though. Everything is very high. Why now? Ah, economics is too high now. You are managing. In the morning we will sit. No market. Because everything is getting uh, costly every day by day. People are complaining. Okay, so this Egusi uh, now we be saying people they buy on a regular basis. How much be one cup of Egusi? Uh, before, before, it was 50 naira, but now it's 100 naira. Yes. Which kind of copy that? Makeup. This is the cup. New cup of a goosey. This is a goosey. One milk cup like this. 100 naira. 100 naira. Yes. Uh, before, it was 50 naira. How about this, Ogbono? Ogbono, before, Ogbono was 100 naira. 150, but now it's 400 naira. It just the dot before it's 500. But uh, last week came back to 400 naira. This Ogbono now 400 naira for this cup. Yes. This Ogbono. Yes. It's 400. 400 naira for yes. this cup where I hold. 500 naira last two weeks. Two weeks ago 500 naira. Yes. From 150. Yes. Wow. Okay. Which kind leaves with this one? It's curry leaf. This one curry leaf. Yes. How about this one? This one is a hot leaf, Oziza. People call it Oziza leaf. What do they use it for? For soup. What kind of soup? You can use it for a goosey or bono. What about hard? Do they use this one for hard soup? Yeah, they use it for hard soup. Oh, okay, this one. How about what, is, what kind of leaf this is it? This one is sand leaf. Yes. If I want to buy this, um, what do you call this one again? Curry leaf. leaf. How much is this one? Before, bef before, before, we do say 10 naira. But now 15 naira. We are selling it. 10 naira, 20 naira before, but now 15 naira. How about this, Oziza? Oziza now, before we sold it 20 naira, but now 15 naira also. But they don't import these ones now? They don't import it now, baby, because you know, when things are, you know, I affected the production, fertilizer. I use the fertilizer to uh, produce it. Farmers are complaining. How about the scent leaf? The same thing, from 15 naira, the head. We do uh, buy it 59, but now we are buying it 150, 200. Yeah, what kind of, what is this one? This is Archie. 
Can you bring it down? Let's see. Achi, what do you use Achi for? Achi is for soup, tikina. It's for tikina, yeah. Grind it. Yeah? Uh, grind, grind it, yes. So how much is this Achi now? Do you want you? Achi, 15 naira upward. Before we do say 10 naira, 20 naira, but now from 15 naira. So you can't give me Achi 10 naira right now? No. 15 naira? Yes, 15 How about this, your palm canel? Palm canel. Drika was uh, 100 naira. This one before 15 naira, but now the Rika is 215 naira. Now we are selling it. How about this small one? This one is a uh, uh, 100 and uh, 130 naira because you will remove that five naira. Nobody will give you five naira. Okay, how about your crayfish before we come on here? How are you crayfish? Crayfish before the Rika was uh, 200, 150, but now we 600 naira. I don't understand. Can you say that again? Before Crayfish. 200 naira before, 150 before. For one derika. 600 naira, yes. Wow. Make up now is 200 naira. It's Two. in it. Uh, yeah, how about this pepper? What kind of pepper is this? Uh, it's a uh, yellow pepper. Yellow pepper. That one cannot be expensive now. You go to the market yeah, to pluck it. To the farm no, to pluck it. No, we count it. They count for us 7, 15 naira. We say... Help me, help me pick one. Let, let's, let me see. So, one like this is how much? 10 naira. Hey, one pepper, one like one like this is yeah, 10 naira. 10 naira. Why? Where we are buying it, they count for us 7, uh, seven 15 naira. We now sell 5, 15 naira. We remove 2 for our own. For our own gain. That's interesting. Alright, thank you very much, madam. Market will come, yeah? Amen. Alright, we well, are this place where they sell Gary. Um, this is the Jabu Gari. This one is the Jabu Gari. Uh, the Jabu Gari is 900 naira per paint. That is Jabu Gari, the sweet part. Uh, in drinking. It's good in drinking. I taste it. How? Huh? Taste it so that I'll be sure of what they are saying. one also is also you can drink that one but it's not as the first one that one is 800 per paint how much did you sell them before we are selling 5, 500 450 before but it's now 800 why why is it that expensive now uh, because they are making farming now it's the time of freaking farming they clear the bush and put another another distance inside so the last one you can use only that one is mainly for a bar it was 250 before, but it's now 700. From 250 to 700? 700 per plate now. Why, why is it that expensive? I'm asking again. They are making farming. It's the season. There are times when it's expensive. It has gone like three months to this time. It will come down again. When they finish their farming. How about rice? Um, the, condition, the condition of the rice now. You don't even understand it. This small grain is slightly in there. That is India rice. The price of that India is highly now. It's twenty one thousand per bag now. Twenty thousand per bag for rice. Fifteen thousand to twenty one thousand now. The Indian rice, and that is the one people like most because it has taste. The long grain, the long grain doesn't have taste. That is Thai, Thai, Thailand. The Thailand is now is in normal price. Eighteen thousand per bag now. It was formerly seventeen, but it's now it's because people they don't request for it. Like the Indian one, that Indian one, the small grain has taste more than the long one. You sell a lubo like yam flour here? Uh, it's very expensive now. Though according to what people tell us in the village that there's no yam, the shortage of rain in last year affected their their crops. So the yam, the yam now is very expensive. The tin is five thousand five now. Per tin. Where is the tin? Can you show us the tin? Is there? The oh yeah, bring come and get me. The Okay, do you own that shop on the other side? Hmm? You own the shop on the other side as well. You grind the lubo, uh, the this uh, what is it called? The yam stuff. Yam is very costly now. How about this particular one? What do they do? Plantain flower. Uh, that is this one is plantain. This thing is the one you call five thousand five. Five thousand five. For yam flower. Yam flower. Yeah, selling it two thousand five, two thousand eight, but. The way we find it now is very highly. 
Very high. So it's 5,005 now we are selling. How about beans? Do people still buy beans? Beans. You know they have problem in the north now. The other is the causes of the beans. So maybe as the time goes on, the thing will come down. May God How much is beans? We are selling the Rika, 200, 250, 230 for the Rika. That's how it is. Nice knife. I want to buy a cup of rice because rice is one staple food that everybody eats. If I want to buy a cup of rice, now how much? 300. Hey, wait, I'm, going, I'm coming. Is it this one that is 300? That one has, that one costs 280 for one milk cup. This one is how much? 280 uh, naira. 80 naira for this milk cup. One milk cup now. Smart. The short, even the short one, short one is 100 naira. It's 80 naira, 100 naira now. How about this Dirica? Dirica is 300. 300 naira for one Dirica. It's 300. So how would you rate um, patronage before and now? How would you compare them? It's very high. Government should help us. We find it very high. Government should find solutions to it and help people. People that are buying th things before, they cannot afford it again. They buy small, small things. They use small, small money. There's no money and this is very costly. Government should please help us. That's the thing I can say. Thank you very much. Now. Well, it is obvious that everybody we have gone to meet in the market today has said almost the same thing. All of them are saying that the government should help us. We always believe and hope that our government officials are watching this live video and they have one or two other things to say or do about the situation of things in the country. Well, that's a wrap for us today on Market Survey. I mean, I'm Larry Okola, Big Boza to Emmanuel Soli, the man behind the camera, and everybody out there for dropping one or two comments. Until we see you same time next week, have a lovely day.